starting to build your healing toolkit, if you want to just pick the stones that you're attracted to the most, that's totally fine. But if you're starting to do work as a professional healer, working with crystal therapy for clients, then I do suggest that you have both tumbled and rough stones, so polished and rough. The reason for that is I feel personally, and again, not all crystal healers would agree, this is just my opinion based on my experience personally and my experience with my clients. Tumbled or polished stones have a really gentle, subtle energy that radiates outward in all directions. So they're good for people who are a little bit more sensitive to crystal energy. Now depending on the type of crystal, sometimes they can even be a little bit over the top for certain people. But rough stones, I usually use when someone really needs an energetic breakthrough. They really need that extra push because I do feel that the energy is stronger in a rough stone. Now, this isn't necessarily always like a good thing, right? More isn't always better. But in certain instances, it's what you need. So it just depends on the needs of you or your client, whoever you're working with, and what you feel more drawn or attracted to, and what feels good. So, you know, if you want to hold a, a tumbled rose quartz and hold a rough rose quartz, you might want to see just which one sort of feels better for you.